we were encouraged to water down our courses somewhat in order to make things less stressful, in order to make things doable. I didn't think that was what it was all about. And the students were craving MIT level intensity, but higher than normal empathy. And this made it easy to provide that. My name is Mike Short. Now I'm an associate professor here at MIT's Department of Nuclear Science and Engineering. The light board has totally transformed the way I teach, and frankly, I'm not looking forward to going back to the blackboard, and I can tell you a couple of reasons why. Tell me about why the light board versus other modes, you know, during pandemic, of course, um, mm -hmm. but also going forward. Tell me about what your thoughts are. In the before times I teach at the blackboard, I'm very much a, a blackboard kind of person. I'm not a fan of slides too much because we've all seen enough slides for our lifetime, and the boards were interactive. And when the pandemic hit, I was immediately thinking, how am I going to replicate or improve upon the Blackboard experience? Now, luckily, we've got a guy here, Jim Kane, at MIT's Office of Digital Learning, who had set up a homemade Lightboard studio. And then I realized that no one I talked to, not a single person, had ever taught synchronously from the Lightboard. In asynchronous mode, you, you record it ahead of time, but you don't get the interaction. And so I opted for synchronous, which is merging the interactivity and real time of the blackboard with the capabilities of the lightboard. And that made all the difference. I looked at all the potential ways of teaching during the pandemic, everything from, you know, death by PowerPoint to iPads, GoodNote, uh, just using a whiteboard in my office, which I tried for a while. I had a, a camera set up at the whiteboard. Nothing cut it. And I've been reading all these editorials and hearing complaints from all the students saying, why am I paying $50,000 a year tuition for this? This is not what I signed up for. And it's like, yeah, none of us signed up for the pandemic. But you have a point, is with a little bit of extra funds and time on our part, I thought we could create an equivalent of not superior teaching product uh, to pre-pandemic times. And with the Lightboard, I'd actually call this superior. We'd hit the same curriculum at the same pace the students did statistically better on harder exams that I wrote from scratch, but similar problem sets. And students rated the course higher than pre-pandemic times. They did better on the exams. And I didn't change a thing. I didn't water it down. I didn't make it easier. They rose to the challenge. And this is what helped me help them rise to that challenge. Could you please describe the impact that the Lightboard Studio has had on your profession as well as your students? Sure. So um, the Lightboard's enabled me to effectively, in al almost zero effort, flip my classroom for next year. So a lot of us this year, we're talking about what's the value of higher education? What's the value of an MIT education? Is it sitting in the audience and seeing the same performance art from some world expert in something that they've been given for the, the past 30 years? No, we have YouTube now. So it's no different. The value is you're paying for that expert's time to answer your questions and keep explaining it until you personally understand it as the student. So not listening to someone else's questions, not listening to an explanation that works for others, but listening to yours. So what I've done is I've recorded and we're splitting up all of the Lightboard lectures from this year. And I'm offering those to my students instead of the readings. Because let's be honest, a lot of people don't do the readings anymore. It's not the preferred medium of uptake of knowledge for a lot of people. So I'm making the readings available. And I'm making the Lightboard videos available. And I'm telling my students, choose one. Pick your favorite medium of first encounter with this stuff. I have a feeling it's going to be mostly Lightboard videos. And then the time we spend together in class is going to be at the Blackboard, working through problems together, posing examples, answering their questions. So every contact hour we have is going to be these students' questions, not somebody else's. And that way, um, we combine all of the benefit of the Lightboard in terms of the full color, high resolution, splittable, pausable lectures with the interactivity at the Blackboard where a student says, I don't get it. I try explaining it a different way right there. Why did you end up choosing Revolution as your solution provider? I wanted to go with Revolution because I, I looked at the build of materials and the time it would take to build my own studio. And I said, yeah, I could do it but it would probably take me about the same amount of money and probably 20 to 50 times as much time. Um, especially the hardest thing for me to source on my own was the right size uh, sapphire glass.